this project should be undertaken with parental or adult supervision to ensure a safe and enjoyable experience. <laughs> It's a curse for five years of misfortune! It's a bad sign! I knew something bad would happen! Sammy, what are you talking about? It's just salt! You have nothing to worry about! Ha! Missed me! Slime News says that 50% of friends break up after five years of friendship! You'll forget about me and I'll be all alone! We will always be best friends! I won't leave you alone! And I don't believe in curses! Phew! I know! Let's make some special friendship charms! Great idea! They'll double protect our friendship! And one more thing! We need a lot of them! And we shouldn't waste time! Hurry up! Let's go! Hi, guys! Do you want to make some gifts for your friends? I do! For our friendship, I'm ready to do everything! What will we make first? Let's start from the trinket notepad! We'll cut out several sheets of paper with the size of 4 by 4 and a half centimeters. Be careful and make as many sheets as you want. Oh, I already can't wait to see the final result! Don't forget that the scissors are sharp so you can ask an adult to help you. So I have a wonderful idea! I think nobody has ever thought about that! And I'm gonna need those pieces of paper! Here you go! Look! Holy cannoli, these hearts are too cute! I need them, Sam. Hey! Sam, be careful, please! And where is the foam paper? Are you talking about this? Exactly, thanks! <laughs> Let's make an outline and then we'll cut it out. Here we go. And… Great! Let's see! We have one pink and one blue hearts. Perfect combination! We need to make two openings. Sammy, watch this! Let me see that closely. Hmm, aren't they too small to look through them? Those were not made for that. We need more openings here. Otherwise, we won't be able to get all of the sheets together. There we go. Hop. Don't forget that the cutter is very sharp. Yeah! Always look out for your fingers, people! And this is what we've got. Shiver me chatters! It's time to combine them! You are right! Let's put everything together! Huh? Of course this won't hold up just like that! Are you sure, Sue? <laughs> and you just proved my point! We need a thread! I clearly remember that I put it somewhere here! Are you looking for this? Yes, thank you! Whoa! That was fun! Now we're gonna pull the thread through one opening and then through another! Come on, Sammy, calm down. And now I suppose we're missing only one little thing. By the mozzarella, we should decorate it somehow! The notepads always have a picture on their cover! You're right, let's draw a face. Sammy, how do you like this cute little thing? It's so cool! I will write our stories in there! And the first one will start with Once Upon a Time, there lives Sammy and Sue, two very best friends! That's so sweet of you, Sammy! <laughs> hmm, where is my favorite mug? Oh! Hey! Calm down, Sammy! Let's make BFF mugs from these! First of all, we should wipe the mug with the degreaser! Good. Sammy, are you okay? Ugh, where am I, Sue? Cut it out. Better draw something on the mug. Draw? Oh, okay. But what exactly, Sue? Don't hurry, just draw. Okay. I'm a great artist. Maybe one day my pictures will be in the Louvre. Sounds very inspiring. I think I'll draw something, too. Wow, check this out! I can't even decide whose mug that one will be! By the way! Ugh, I've also got something! Awesome!
awesome! These two match perfectly! Where did you learn to draw like that? During my adventures in Tibidaba, I have many hidden talents! But now it's time for tea! I'm gonna choose this one, Sue! Okay, then this one is mine! There you are! Now let's make a couple of special plates for friends only! But I see no plates here! Where did you hide them? Ah, oh, you're just joking with me! Chill out, Sammy, I didn't hide anything! We'll make the plates by ourselves! And we'll start from making kind of a pancake out of this. We should be very careful or our plates may just break if they are too thin. I still don't get it, Sue. Are you going to cook? I didn't know that this is edible. <laughs> Sammy, no! Let's cook something later or we could just order pizza. But right now, let's cut out the shape of our future plates. Be careful with the cutter, guys! I only see one of them! Am I not gonna have a plate? Did you forget your bestie? Please be patient, Sammy. Now check this out. We're gonna make two plates from this heart for both of us. Hop. Hop. And hop. See? It's one heart for two, just like our friendship. I think you should make some neat edges for those plates. And I'll just watch. Because years in Tibidaba taught me that you can never know what to expect from clay! Holy cannoli! Don't tell me that now we have to bake them in the oven! Sammy, you're so smart! Of course we should bake them! Just 30 minutes and everything's done! I hope you're ready for the next step! Let's decorate our plates a little! Once I saw such a thing in a dream! And I'm sure you were there also! <laughs> Are we done yet? Yes, Sammy! We're almost there! Just one more addition! And done! Snap! Oops! <laughs> one more! Awesome! It's the best place for my new trinket! This goes here, and a little bit of jewelry over here! Best friends forever! And nothing can change that! But it's still not the end, guys! Today, I'm your barista! And I've prepared a special drink for you! What a wonderful barista! But I still don't know how to put an inscription on top! I can help you! The main shape is done! Now we need a handle! Describes our friendship. I'll give you one more hint. I love you. You love me? Of course I do, Sammy. Oh, Sue, I love you too. Careful with the cutter. I won't need it because I have magic. Wow, check this out. Let's test our new friendship charm. Check this out, Sammy. How do you like this? Coffee lover now by the mozzarella. Sue, so can you make one more cup for me too? Sure, that's easy to repeat. Woohoo! Coffee time! Mmm, this defo looks delicious. Oh my feta! It's terrible! Sammy, what happened? We totally forgot about Roger. He also needs a friendship charm. Hmm, I have an idea. We'll make a gift for Roger. Give me a second, I'll be right back. What, a gift? Check this out. Beautiful pictures, right? Yeah, but what are you gonna do with them? I can't give them as a gift to Roger. Watch and learn. When we finish, you'll understand everything. This is the first step. Be careful, the scissors are sharp. Sue, I've already cut out the second picture. <laughs> now we have two pieces for our t-shirt prints. We're gonna need plastic wrap, but I can't untangle it. Sammy, help me, please. No problem, Sue! Here you go! Thanks, Sam! Uh, you're welcome! Next, we need more layers to do everything right. We will protect the picture with the plastic wrap. This way. I still don't get that. Won't it fall down eventually? Or should we maybe pin it? 
Have some patience. I'll show you craft magic. Food take this off of me. Good macaroons. Where's the food wrap? Did the iron eat it? <laughs> no, the wrap just helps the picture stay on the t-shirt. While you were ironing, I did this. Look. Ugh. Oh, Roger is gonna love this! I want to present and do it myself! And right now! Oh, Sammy, you are so impatient! I wonder if Sue can see me. Easy, easy! Hey, Sam! Ugh, Sue, you scared me! Give me that! I need this chocolate to make more gifts! I know how to make them better. Let's make gift wraps for chocolate bars. First of all, let's remove this. I don't understand anything. We haven't started properly yet. I am all patience. Plus, I have more chocolate. I'm up. We have two drawings here. And markers will help make them more visible. Visible? You've drawn a ghost. I'm not sure that everybody loves them. I hope that won't stay black and white. Don't worry. We'll add bright colors. Chatters. It will be the best gift for everybody! A chocolate bar and a yummy wrap! And here's the result! But I don't like the background. Much better! Now let's wrap our chocolate bars! Sue, so you defo need double-sided scotch tape! Yes, it will help us a lot! I love it. I'd be happy if somebody presented this to me. What if you had received two of them, Sue? <laughs> I would be twice as happy then. Now let's have a look at all of our crafts. Today we did a really great job together. Preservation of friendship is very important. Sue, this is so cool! Our plates, and t-shirts, and especially the chocolate. Phew, I am so tired. Give a thumbs up to our gifts and do some of them for your friends. See you in the next video. Bye! Hello everyone! Are you ready for an arty party? We're in the party time! It's the perfect place for a party. So... Let's get arty! It's the Mini Makers! All right then, my friends! Are you feeling arty? Yeah! Then let's party! Here we go! We're gonna have a party Get the who I've invited The shakes and scraps He's so excited all the mini makers are partying too. But most importantly, we invite you! Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, let's go! Let's get arty, everybody party. It's great to see you, my friend. Now, what shall we make our party about today? Mm, you have a think about it. Have you got any ideas? Come on, Mini Makers. Over here, my friends. Now, have a look at the screen. We're going to show you some clues. See if you can guess what our party's going to be about today.
<laughs> yes. And I'll give you one last clue. <laughs> Look at that. What is it, everyone? Banana skin. That's right. It's an old banana skin. So, my friends, what's our party going to be about today? Rubbish! That's right. We're going to have a brilliant rubbish party where we recycle things as well. Yeah! Wow! Robo scraps! <laughs> Robo scraps, what a great way to recycle all of those old boxes. And now I've got a very important job for you. Can you put this banana skin in the food bin? Thank you, Robo scraps, to the rescue! <laughs> yeah! hey! So let's think of some brilliant rubbish things to use in our arty party picture. What should we use, Mini Makers? Paper, googly eyes, pipe cleaners. Plastic things. Pom-poms. What should we stick them down with? Gloopy glue! Well done, Mini Makers. Some great ideas there. In fact, you've just given me a brilliant idea. Let's get Artie at our party and make the ultimate colourful rubbish picture by recycling odds and ends that would normally be thrown away. But first, we'll need some things from... That's right! We'll need scraps of coloured tissue paper, straws and leftover wrapping paper. Coloured card, glue, pom-poms and pipe cleaners. A toy bike. No doodle tube. We're recycling today. We're not cycling. Nice try. <laughs> and we'll need all sorts of arty bits and bobs. <laughs> OK, Mini Makers, let's get started. Now, first thing we're going to do is bring in some background paper or card. You can use any colour you like. But today, I think this nice blue will work really well. And now we're going to decorate this card with some recycled rubbishy things. I'm going to start off with some tissue paper here. And I think it might work well to just very carefully tear it into strips of different sizes. There we are. Now, stick them down. Glue all the way along. And now, Alexander, can you pass me a piece of tissue, please? Thank you very much. It looks good if you scrunch it up a bit before you stick it down. And it doesn't matter if the ends of the tissue paper hang over the end of the card. Keep sticking down more tissue paper in a crisscross pattern like this. You don't just have to stick down tissue paper. You can stick anything you like even wrapping paper. Look at that, all those spots. It looks nice, doesn't it? What should we stick on next? Straws! I'm just going to flatten this down, glue all the way along the straw, and then you can stick it down. You can use as many straws as you want. And now we can add anything we like to our picture. Here we are. I'm going to go for a cake case first, I think. Glue in the middle. And then we can stick it down. Uh, I think there'll be good. Is there a star there, Sophie? Yes. Ah, wonderful. Thank you very much. And how about something unusual? There's a spoon. And now we can add anything we like to our picture. Anything at all. Let's stick a final star on now, and our picture is finished. Do you like that, Mini Makers? Yeah! Well, I'm really glad that you like it, because now it's time for you to make your own arty party picture. But first, you've got to put on your... Arty apron! That's right! Yeah! Because it's time to... Start!
This isn't a rubbish picture. This is brilliant, Angel. What's your favourite thing about your picture? My favourite thing is the big pom-pom in the middle. Oh, I think you're right. It looks like a red nose. And how did you stick it down? With some sticky glue. Well, I think that's a great idea. Grab some sticky glue and stick some more things down onto your picture. Well done, Angel. I wonder, has anyone else been inspired by rubbish? Let's find out. Andy Warhol was a famous artist who lived in America. He wore a wig and glasses to make himself stand out from the crowd. Stylish! Some people think that when Warhol was eating his lunch one day, he had a brilliant idea. Soup! He loved to eat soup. In fact, it's thought that he loved soup so much, he told people he ate it for lunch every day. Ha! Ah, super! And as he loved art and loved soup, he decided to make a picture. A little bit like this. He then added another 31 cans. This is one of Andy Warhol's most famous pictures, made up of 32 cans of soup. This style of art is called pop art, and you could say that he recycled his cans of soup to make one of his most famous pop art pictures. Oh, that reminds me. I must pop art to the shops to get more soup. Fantastic. In fact, that was super. Now let's see how the mini makers are getting on. <laughs> this is brilliant, Shelby. What picture have you made? I've made a suitcase. And I really love the top here. Is this a handle? Yes. Keep making, my friend. This is brilliant. Sophie has made a great picture here. What's your favourite thing about your picture? Uh, I like the bit which I've got a pom-pom and then a car on top, and then I added a small pipe cleaner which had blue sparkles all over it. Well, it looks super and very sparkly, and that, Sophie, is very good parking. <laughs> Bakari, what's in the corner of your picture here? It's a pink sun. Wow. And how did you make the pink sun? I used a yogurt pot and some scrunched up paper for a smile. Brilliant. Well, I am smiling, Bakari, because that is a great picture. But that's a funny noise, it sounds like. Snoring. Someone is asleep at our party. Who is it, everyone? The Shapes! That's right. It's the Shapes. And I think we should wake them up. So after three. Ready? One, two, three. Wake up! How many differences can you spot? One. Two. Three. Four. That's right, there are four differences. That was fantastic, Rectangle. It's time to get back on the show. Yeah! 